Now let's move on to the concept of density. Uh, density is a really important concept in both physics and chemistry. Now you might already know that the density of water is one gram per milliliter. Water has a density of one gram per milliliter, but what does that really mean? What does that tell us about water? I'm trying to pause the video and to articulate what does it really mean to say that water has a density of one gram per milliliter. Well, our technique again is to combine the number and the units into a single ratio. This is a little unusual because since the density of water is one gram per milliliter, we actually end up with the number one on both the top and the bottom. So what does this tell us? It tells us that if you had one milliliter of water, it would have a mass of one gram. Remember that ratio units give us hypothetical information. If we had one milliliter of water, it would have a mass of one gram. Does that really mean that I have one milliliter of water? Well, no. I might have 10 milliliters or I might have a thousand milliliters, or actually, you can see, I actually don't have any water. Um, but even though I don't actually have any water with me right now, I can still say hypothetically um, what the uh, mass of one milliliter of water would be if I did have it with me. Another way to express the density of water is that it's 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. The density of water could also be expressed as 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. Try to pause the video and to articulate what does that mean. Well, we'll put those into a single ratio. It means that if you had one cubic meter of water, it would have a mass of 1,000 kilograms. If you had one cubic meter of water, it would have a mass of 1,000 kilograms. Obviously, I don't have one cubic meter of water with me, but if I did, hypothetically, it would have a mass of 1,000 kilograms. Okay, um, well, I hope that um, just this little discussion here has maybe given you um, more insight into this concept of density. Um, if you've already gotten some distance into your physics or chemistry classes, you probably popped up, uh, you probably um, had to deal with this concept of density um, already, um, but it's possible that you might not have gotten really a really intuitive grip on it. Well, density um, has a unit ratio, uh, has a ratio unit, uh, and that helps us to interpret what we mean when we talk about the density of something. Now let's go on to the concept of pressure. Pressure is another important concept that appears in both physics and chemistry. Uh, you might know that atmospheric pressure is 15 pounds per square inch. The pressure of the atmosphere, the normal pressure of the atmosphere, is 15 pounds per square inch. But let's try to articulate, what does that really mean? Well, let's combine the number and the units into a single ratio. What it means is that um, above one square inch of area, there's 15 pounds of atmosphere. Above one square inch of area, there's 15 pounds of atmosphere. For example, maybe I could take my clipboard here, uh, and maybe I could make um, a little square here. that's one square inch in size. Uh, so here's the little square. Um, actually, it looks like that's uh, more than one square inch. Uh, or actually, I kind of forget how big an inch is. But let's pretend that this is an area of one square inch. Let's pretend that this is an area of one square inch. OK, now, how much atmosphere is there directly above that rectangle? What's the weight of the atmosphere above this rectangle? Well, of course, you know that the atmosphere starts down here, and it goes up. Up, 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 all the way into outer space. So there's a heck of a lot of air on top of this little rectangle. But of course, on the other hand, um, air doesn't really weigh very much. So even though it is a very um, far distance of air, actually, if you added up all the air on top of this rectangle, um, its total weight would just be 15 pounds. That's the meaning of atmospheric pressure. When we say the atmospheric pressure is 15 pounds per square inch. It means that if, hypothetically, we drew a uh, rectangle that was one square inch, um, there would be a total weight of 15 pounds of air on top of it.
I think that's actually kind of surprising again. If you think about um, all the many miles of atmosphere that's on top of this little rectangle, it's a little surprising that if you added up all that atmosphere, the total weight would still only be 15 pounds. So that just goes to show you that, of course, air doesn't weigh very much. Okay, so again, um, if you've already uh, gotten some distance into your physics or chemistry classes, you've probably already encountered this concept of pressure, but I hope that now um, you have a more intuitive understanding of what pressure means. Um, it's a ratio unit. 